the season is about to end and you are still in lazy while all your friends are chilling in glory you are here struggling in epically immortal i know you must be feeling frustrated as you don't have an angela to do over with you yes you our solo queue master with just few tips and tricks i bet you can solo goku there okay maybe that was too far but yes my friend i know you have the potential and just like sanju once said with mentor's wisdom you will conquer challenges like the greatest warriors of history hi guys kazuki here and in this video i will be sharing 10 tips for solo players to rank up easy Let's get to the first point which is outsmarting your enemy. Instead of making predictable moves, aim to outmaneuver your opponents by countering their actions. It is crucial to anticipate their moves and make strategic decisions that counteract their plans. This involves understanding common game patterns, predicting the enemy behaviors and exploiting opportunities to your advantage. For example, when being chased by Lancelot, capitalize on the movement he uses his second skill to close the game. Or when Gushan is dashing out all his combos, you can simply dash to avoid all those damage. Just like a legend once said, mastering side steps is an art. So make sure to perfect the timing or do some mind-blowing side steps. The second tip is a small itemization. Now these are micro plays that every ML player should know. Instead of buying items randomly from recommendations, try to learn the attributes and states of the items. These items, while seemingly minor, can provide the necessary edge in the various situations adapting to the game's flow and your specific needs at any given moment. For instance, if you are playing in the gold lane and facing harassment from the enemy, consider buying steel leg plates. Not only it is cheap, but it provides a good amount of defense for the early stage. Similarly, if you are jungling and leg creep damage, molten essence could be a wise investment. And these small adjustments can greatly impact your gameplay. Moving on to next step, mastering hero selection. When picking heroes, always try to focus on the current meta. You might get a slight advantage when playing those heroes as those heroes are OP and can dominate most of the time. But do remember, picking meta heroes doesn't always bring victory. Try to master your meta hero first. Open to practice mode, learn the basics and then classic before directly jumping into the rank i'll show you how to dance in mid air and if you are unsure about the current meta heroes then you can watch this video i am here as we have thoroughly analyzed the meta and made a full tier list for you focus on learning heroes that make a big difference in different roles this way you will always be a valuable part of your team the next tip is staying updated with the patch and latest adjustment i know most of us don't like to read all those long patch paragraphs but it is crucial to understand the latest adjustment made to the game especially when you are solo queuing keep up with the patch updates and how they affect the game adapt your hero choices strategies and item builds according to the latest changes to stay competitive and if you're that lazy person who doesn't want to read at all then you can watch our videos as we cover all the updates so make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date because in this solo queue match no one will guide you let's now talk about lane management or rotation This is one of the most important things. Rotating efficiently is essential for every ML player. Knowing when and where to rotate can greatly impact the outcome of the game. You can watch these videos from the playlist to learn different types of rotations for different roles. We have covered every type of roles possible. 
so make sure you watch them thoroughly and become the goat in rotation. At the same time, keep your eye on the minimap for vital information. It's essential for executing optimal rotations and gains across lanes, so make sure you keep your eye on the minimap as well. Next tip for my solo Giga Chats is objective control. Prioritize objectives over kills. I know the thirst for kills for every ML player. Trust me, I have been there as well and this is one of the biggest mistakes even I ever made. But dear friends, winning is the ultimate goal. Getting 100 kills won't let you win. So try to focus on objectives like turret push, load and turtle. Understanding the importance of objectives can decide the pace of the game and lead to more consistent victories. The next I would like to share is strategic drafting. Solo players pick anything they like. Are you serious right now, bro? Without looking at their team composition, whether it be 2mm or 2 junglers. They tend to pick their favorite hero without even considering the enemy's draft resulting in your defeat. Understanding the meta can help you make better choices. It is difficult to convince randoms. But it is better to suggest them hero bands and picks if you feel your teammates are not experienced enough. Proper drafting is crucial and can determine the outcome of the match. Moving on to tip number 8. Versatility in roles. When playing solo queue, you need to know at least 2 or more roles. If you know only one role, then your random teammates won't always give you the role you want. Being adaptable allows you to fill gaps in your team's composition, increasing your chances of well-rounded and effective team victory. So don't be that guy who always play one role, nevertheless one hero. And that reminds me of the next tip, communication. I understand that the introvert in you might hesitate to use the mic but it's crucial to give callouts to your teammates. This keeps everyone aware of the situation and improves teamwork. Communication doesn't always require your mic to be on. Rather, you can utilize other sources as well. Utilize chat to notify your team about enemy spell users, whether they used flicker, retribution or any other spells. And also if you are launching an attack or retreating or taking neutral objectives. Effective communication is crucial, so ensure you do it consistently. Following that, we have our last tip. Tip number 10, managing toxicity. I know ML without toxicity is impossible and I bet you watching this must have made one or two. They won't listen to you no matter what you say. They will be toxic right from the draft till the very end. They will take your buff, intentionally feed and even demotivate others in the chat. In this kind of situation, don't listen to them at all. Simply mute them and focus on your role objectives. These are attention seekers. The more you engage, the more they enjoy it. I know you are better than them. And after the game ends, just report and block them. Here are some extra tips I would like to give. Self-improvement and reflection. Always look for ways to improve, analyze your gameplay, acknowledge mistakes and learn from them. We win sometimes and we lose sometimes, but that doesn't mean you will go on a rampage. 
regular breaks and maintaining a positive mindset are crucial for a long-term growth and enjoyment in MLBB. I am sure if you guys use these tips, it will improve your gameplay in solo queue. If you have friends to play together, I suggest you to play with them. But if they are also Giga Chat who wants to go solo, then you can also be their savior by sharing them this video. So that will be all for this video. I hope to see you in Immortal soon. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.